So recently, WhatsApp, the popular messaging service, crossed 1 billion milestone, which means every one out of seven people in the world is using WhatsApp. And that's a huge number. Now, like I always say, if you're using something frequently, then use it effectively. And with that in mind, here are five Android apps for WhatsApp power user. So let's get started. Number one, Disa. Now these days, many people use WhatsApp for both professional and personal use. So it does make sense to use two different WhatsApp account, like one for work, another for friends and family. But according to WhatsApp terms and condition, you cannot run two WhatsApp account in a same device. And guess what? This is exactly where apps like Tisa comes into picture. So simply put, this application lets you run two separate WhatsApp account in a single device. You don't even need a dual SIM phone for that. Now I know there are few other applications that lets you do that. But Tisa is different. Since this application is available on Google Play, everything is legit. And it also works smoothly as compared to other application. Number 2. See by Chat Header Now, if you don't already know, WhatsApp released a new update yesterday in which you can reply to WhatsApp messages directly from the notification. But still, it is not very intuitive. Let me show you what I mean. First, you have to pull down the notification tray and then tap on the notification to reply it. However, if you have a rooted Android, then I suggest you go for the applications like C by chat header. So basically what it does is it makes your WhatsApp like a Facebook messenger. That is, you can access your WhatsApp conversation from any app. So once you tap on the header, you can see your chat history. And not just that, you can even reply to it from there without even opening the WhatsApp app. And the best part is when you're using this application, your last seen timestamp won't get updated since you're not opening WhatsApp anyway. And finally, when you're done, simply drag and drop the header to the small hole and you will exit the application, just like we do in Facebook Messenger. Now tell me, which screen are you going to prefer when you are making a call? Obviously the one with the contact photo, right? Since it is more personal. But setting up display picture for every contact can be a daunting task. And this is where applications like contact photo comes into picture. Let me show you what I mean by that. So once you open this application, you will see some display picture of your WhatsApp contacts. These are the images that you have opened inside WhatsApp and now they are saved into your device storage. So go through them and uncheck the one that you don't want to set as a contact photo. Now if you want to add more pictures to the list, you will have to open the WhatsApp app and then open the display picture of each contact manually. Now I know doing this for every picture is tedious process, but there is no other way to do it automatically since WhatsApp do not release their API for public use. And now once you are done, come back to the contact photo app and refresh it. Then swipe it to the right and tap on update picture automatically. And that's it. From here onwards, this application will automate the task, which many other similar applications don't do. So at least that is nice. Now, like I said, the process is a bit tedious, but then again, most of us only frequently contact like 20% of the people in our contact list, right? So why should we bother about the rest 80%? And also, chances are you have already opened the display picture of the contacts you care about, so you don't have to do much manual work anyway. Number 4. GIF to Video now, this may not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you spend time on Reddit or 4chan, then you will know how fun a GIF image could be. But sadly, as of now, WhatsApp don't support GIF animation. But there's a workaround. As you know, WhatsApp does support video, right? So if we can somehow convert a GIF into a video, then we can make it work. And guess what? GIF to video does exactly that. So as you open this application, you can select GIF images from various sources like from your local collection, reddit or gif bin etc. But let's say you want to send a custom gif. To do that, click on this make a gif option. Then type in your keyword and search for it. Now select the one from the list and then tap on convert. And once the processing is over, tap on the share option and select whatsapp and then share it with the contact you want. The size is quite reasonable and it should not take more time since whatsapp compress video quite well. 
and once the video is uploaded, tell the recipient to play it with the Google Photo app since it has a video loop feature which will make this video look like a GIF file. Number 5. Magic Cleaner Now I don't know if this is an Indian thing or if this happens worldwide. But one big problem about WhatsApp is that people on WhatsApp groups are constantly forwarding spam images. This includes videos or images with motivational quotes on it, pictures of gods or internet memes or just a simple good morning images. Now I don't have anything against these people but the problem is over time these images start taking your device memory. Now in that case what an average user will do is they start deleting images right. But then again, bulk deleting this WhatsApp images is not an option since it also contains some important pictures as well. And manually deleting every image is a waste of time. So this is where applications like Magic Cleaner for WhatsApp comes into play. So this app uses a special image recognition algorithm that filters the spam messages from the useful ones. All you have to do is open the application and run it then it will start analyzing your WhatsApp images. Now at this point, you will need an active internet connection since this image processing is done on server. But I have to see, the speed and the accuracy of this application is mind blowing. This reminds me of Pied Piper of Silicon Valley. However, one thing that is missing in this application is the ability to bulk and check a specific category. But don't worry, I have discussed this with the developer and hopefully this feature will be out soon enough. Now once you have reviewed a selection, you can delete these files with a single tap. Well this is all for now. If you find this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tech tips and tricks for better life. So this is all for now, it's Pranal signing off and like always, thanks for watching.